What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. I just got home from vacation for a little over a week. Uh, yesterday with Sarah, we were up in the Cape and now we are back at the property and firewood season seemed to have started like over the last, over the course of the last week or so. I've gotten a bunch of people reaching out that they want firewood delivered soon, as soon as I can get it to them. Um, so we are in the beginning of September. I believe today is, yep, September 1st. It's eight o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Um, oh, let's turn down the music. We're gonna go get some coffee and then we got a bunch of firewood deliveries to do here today. All right, I got my coffee and got the little lady, her favorite chocolate frosted with sprinkles donut from uh, Dunkin Donuts, it's in there somewhere. Let's get back to the house and get to work. Now something that's awesome about my truck that I'm not sure many of you guys know about is the fact that I have load leveling airbags in the back here by airlift. If you can see up in there, that is a airbag. There's one on that side and there's one on the other side of the truck as well. And they are controlled by this wireless remote right here. As you can see, I wake up the remote. It is an airlift remote and you can see that my PSI is currently set to 15 PSI. We're gonna go ahead and jack that up because we're gonna be loading the mini skids here with two baskets of firewood on the front of the trailer. It's going to uh, provide some sag to the back end of the truck, but with these airbags, it's gonna level it right out. Of course, I forgot the keys to the machine. If you guys knew how much extra walking around I do just to go out and place cameras and get tools that I forget back at the house and go here and go there, stuff that you don't see on camera, you'd be amazed. <laughs> Gotta dust the cobwebs off this thing. This is the one thing I dislike about this machine is you'll see here, you go to hit the run button and then it goes preheating three, two, one, zero. Now I know waiting just five seconds doesn't seem like a big deal, but you have to do that every time you start up this machine, which kind of defeats the purpose of it being so easy to hop on and off compared to like a normal skid steer because you just wanna be able to hop off it, shut it off, and hop back on and turn it right back on. But every single time, you have to wait for that screen to power up, then you can hit the run button, then you gotta wait five seconds. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's almost like you're, you're spending that 15 seconds getting in and out of the machine anyway. I will say though, it is a lot easier to get it on and off this Bombalite Mini Skid Steer than a conventional skid steer with a cab or something, but that five second preheat, I feel like is a little um, gratuitous, almost like you don't really, you don't need it all the time. It would be nice to, to have the option to preheat your glow plugs when it's actually cold out, but not when it's 82 degrees out. <laughs>
Well, when we left for vacation, Sarah and I completely filled up the firewood stand and the small bundle rack next to it. As you can see, it is totally empty. This morning, there were two bundles left, one in the main stand and one in the little bundle stand, and somebody has already come to buy them. So once we get back from this delivery, we're gonna have to fill it back up with Sarah's help. Now, you guys might be wondering, Jake, why aren't you using the flatbed on the International Hook Lift truck? Could save you all the effort of needing to tow a trailer. Um, well, that is very true. And it's something that I considered this morning, but the one issue that I still haven't figured out yet with doing that with the mini skid steer, there's plenty of room, but uh, I need to devise some sort of ramp or something to be able to easily and quickly get the mini skid steer down off the flatbed uh, once it's on the ground. There's still like an eight to 10 inch, you know, difference between the deck height and the ground. And I just need some sort of like block or a short but strong ramp to be able to scan or span that gap. So until I figure something like that out, um, we're just gonna be doing deliveries in the totes with the trailer because it's pretty easy to load up as you saw and uh, it should be just as easy to offload them once we get to the client's property. So if you have any good ideas for ramps um, to get the mini skid steer up that eight to 10 inch gap between the ground and the flatbed deck, let me know in the comments. Okay, now before I mentioned uh, the airbags and how it can help level a load, so you can see right here, my chains are dragging and if you back up and look at the truck, the rear end of the truck is sagging just a little bit. Now keep in mind that the grade of the wood yard does kind of dip down into a very shallow swale here. Uh, most of the water runs out right behind like pointing toward that tree. Um, so there is a bit of an incline here, but I am going to use the remote and show you guys how uh, the airbags can level out the truck. So as you can see, I got my remote. I'm gonna hit the uh, preset which goes up to 90 PSI. And then I'm gonna jack it up all the way to 100, which is the max. And now we'll watch as the back of the truck starts to lift up. Okay, so as you saw, we started out, the chains were totally on the ground. Now they are uh, just hovering above it. I'll probably give that chain a little twist quick, but as you can see, the truck, is sitting a little bit more level. Now, keep in mind, again, there is a little bit of a swale there, so um, it's not on perfectly level ground. Let's go get this delivered. All right, guys, this is where the wood's gonna go behind this uh, pretty big chicken coop here. Um, we gotta drive back across the lawn. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. He's still got the tote that I delivered him last year sitting up here along the house.
right, there's the two totes of wood behind the chicken coop. No problem. All right, guys, machine is all loaded back up. Let's head on to the next one. This next delivery is for two totes of ash firewood. This guy specifically wants ash. So we got a really nice tote of all ash right there and another one right here. So we'll get those loaded up and hit the road. We got the two totes of ash loaded up in under five minutes. That's pretty darn good. Let's get going.
Yeah. So minutes. so kind of ambiance. We yeah we light it at five or four thirty. Oh know, okay. So then, then ash is perfect. Dinner. Then next year, you know, I could do something like soft maple, birch, beech, all very good. You know, they dry out quick and they put off a nice flame. Yeah. So, all right, cool. That's, right, something a little softer than, because I've got an electric uh, splitter. Which, oh, okay. You know, it's this little Ryobi thing. Yeah. And your ash piece is split so beautifully and, you know, anything much heavier, like a log like this, it has trouble with. Oh, okay. You so know, you resplit this stuff? I do, just like I turn it into kindling. And gotcha. I have a pile of kindling, and then I bring in my log carrier with the full stuff. Oh, okay. It's well, if you want little... kindling, I sell bundles of kindling, do too. Do you really? Yeah, you know, like you buy at the gas station? Yeah. Um, it's that, but all kindling. Wow. And I do it $10 a bundle. Oh, no Normally, kidding. you can get like two or three fires out of one bundle. Yeah. And then there's always some kindling in the wood, too. Yeah. You know, I can't filter it all out, but... Huh. All right, cool. The box guy, the box cut is so beautiful. Oh, the box leg, yeah. <laughs> Two totes of ash firewood, ready to go. Okay, so we're pulling up here to what's called the Tonka Truck Tree. And this thing has been here as long as I can remember, but it's just a tree totally covered in Tonka trucks. You can look it up on Google, it's pretty cool. Every time I drive by, it gives me a smile. Okay, and just like that, we are back from the second delivery, all reset, ready to load up the third. Now, the third delivery is a new client. They ordered one full cord, so three totes of just mixed seasoned hardwood. Um, they said they're not really heating with it, more just burning in their fireplace for ambiance. So I got a couple totes of some mixed stuff. Here's uh, maple and birch that was split back in January. Um, what is this? This looks like hickory, so we're not going to give them hickory. Um, what else do we have here? Ah, here's some more birch split back in November. So that'll probably suffice. We'll do some birch, probably this tote. And this tote looks like some ash and cherry. We'll give them a nice mixed bag. Ash, cherry, birch, and then maple birch over here. I've said it before guys, but everybody loves this hook lift dumpster truck. Just its versatility, how I use it here for firewood and for tree work and now for a little bit of excavation work and more like as a dump truck. Um, now that I have the excavator, this truck is just invaluable for the price I got it for, uh, you know, three, four years ago. It's more than paid for itself just out of ease. Maybe not actually monetarily has it paid for itself, but um, just being able to drop the can down like this and quickly load up wood just makes it super, super easy as opposed to throwing the wood in by hand or dumping it, you know, into a conveyor to load it up on the back of the truck. Uh, it just makes it super easy, super flexible for how I can deliver firewood. You saw that first delivery. I had the mini skid steer and we actually placed the totes down at the uh, you know buyer's property. The second one, we just dumped it. So having all different types of equipment to be able to you know, fulfill your customer's needs or desires really helps. Um, you know, I use this truck because it's easier than hauling around the dump trailer. However, if I have to go a long distance um, or they just want like a lot of wood, I can actually fit a little bit more wood in the dump trailer as opposed to this dumpster can. All 
All right, guys, well, Sarah just came out. I told her that we needed to reload the firewood stand and she said she would be happy to help. What's going on? It's a beautiful day. I got nothing to do. Figured I would come down and help. Yeah, it's been a while since you've been uh, on on a video. You've helped me with the firewood stand, or you always help me with the firewood stand. I like helping. With the yeah, you like helping because you like counting the money and you like getting a little bit of exercise, right? Yes. How was vacation? Tell everybody. Vacation was great. Cape Cod. If you've never been, you should go. It's so much fun. We. It's the highlight of the summer. We always look forward to it. it the beach was great. The weather was perfect. It was. It was amazing. Yeah, we like going all the way out on the tip, tip, tip of the Cape. Um, out, We stay in like Truro by Provincetown. The National Seashore is out there. We drive the truck over the National Seashore, the sand dunes. Um, you have to get a special off-road vehicle permit. It's a lot of fun. I'll throw some pictures in maybe at the end of the video or right now of us out on the beach. It's pretty cool. You see whales, you see seals, we saw sharks, all just like from our beach chairs. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, Sarah's gonna help me get the firewood stand loaded up. And we have a little bit of news, I guess. We might as well tell them now, right? I guess so. Go ahead. I can't. I literally can't. Sarah's pregnant, guys. We, uh, we, Sarah is pregnant. She's about halfway through her pregnancy, what, like 19, 20 weeks? Yeah. And, uh, we are very excited, extremely excited. Having a boy. Extremely blessed Jake's to be, very excited yeah, for a boy. having a little baby boy. Um, so we, you know, obviously wanted to, to wait a little bit to tell people, but as you can see by, uh, Sarah's outfit here, she's starting to show. <laughs> and uh, we, we kind of made a little bit of a social media, or Sarah made a social media announcement <laughs> over the vacation with some nice pictures that we took. So uh, super excited about that. That is something to look forward to. I am super excited to eventually down the road have some extra hands to help out here in the wood yard. And uh, yeah, let's go get the firewood sand loaded up. Let's do it. Yeah, we got it all filled up. I'm gonna have to make some bundles later, but I gotta bring in a fresh tote of bundle wood into the basement to uh, wrap them up. What do you got going on the rest of the day? Not much. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. We're having a Labor Day cookout tomorrow. Clean the house. But that's about it. All right, sounds good. See you later. Another cord loaded up, three full large totes of maple, cherry, a little bit of birch, all really nice firewood. You can see the way I easily am able to load it up into the back of the dumpster can. Um, three totes, like one cord, is really kind of the max I think I would be able to easily load into the back of this can with the Baumolite Mini Skid Steer, just because it doesn't have as far of a reach out in front of it as the tractor. The tractor, I can generally get four, if not five totes loaded in easily, and then I'll have to shut the door and do the fifth and sixth, or sometimes just the sixth, um, with the door closed. But it has that higher reach on the tractor where I can go up and over the back door. All right.
right guys, we just made it to the, the delivery and I just squeezed through that tight gate with the International. I uh, pulled in, turned around right over here in this open spot, nosed up to the gate, and then backed up is the new client. We're gonna dump this wood here. This is uh, where it helps having such a maneuverable small truck. For those of you wondering where Chris is, he's right here. I stopped over at his house. Uh, he has a tour to help me try and bend this thing back because he's not allowing uh, the latches to fully secure and going into firewood season. I want this door to be 100%. Uh, You are a wizard, Harry. I try to be. Look at that. We got the pin all the way in, took like two bangs and a little bit of elbow grease. Well, all right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video on doing all these deliveries here. We got three deliveries done. Um, we made a bunch of money, got a bunch of Benjamins here. So um, it is a good day. And hopefully all this money basically pays for uh, a good, chunk of the money that we spent while away on vacation, Sarah and I. Um, so it's good to be back. It's good to get in the swing of things again. And I think, you know, this is just the beginning. People are going to be calling for firewood. Tis the season after all. Um, so I think, you know, the today's video kind of summed up how good it is to have a bunch of different types of equipment to be able to do different types of deliveries and um, satisfy the needs of your customers. And of course, you know, do upcharge for those extra services and the extra time it takes and stuff like that to um, just kind of separate yourself from the rest of all the other guys out there with a pickup truck and a chainsaw doing or saying that they do firewood. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's starting to rain. I'm not really sure what else we're going to get into, but uh, with seven totes leaving the wood yard today, we're going to have to get back to splitting to fill everything back up and, uh, you know, keep that inventory turning over. That's the name of the game. So as always, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.